in just a moment here. Hope to be hooking up with uh, Eric Pratt. Uh, he is Director of Communications for Gun Owners of America, and uh, that's the nonprofit lobbying organization formed in 1975. Uh, they have been around for a while, and while I'm waiting for Nikki to hook up on that, uh, might be having a, a problem with the phone or something. Uh, I ran across a thing the other day, uh, uh, and it was simply titled Guns. And uh, let me see here. I'm getting a message from her. All right. Uh, there you go. Uh, Eric Pratt, are you there, sir? I sure am. How are All you? All right. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, I wanted to mention that uh, uh, to the listener that uh, uh, Eric's father, uh, he is the author of On the Firing Line, and he is the executive director, and uh, their website, gunowners.org. But I want to give you a number that you can call, listeners, if you need any information on Gun Owners of America, and it's 888-886-GUNS. 888-886-GUNS. Uh, boy, I'm telling you, uh, never let a crisis go to waste, I guess, right? So here they go again. <laughs> the Paris shooting, the hostage situations, uh, it's amazing, isn't it? Well, it really is. I mean, you see that France has the laws that Obama and Bloomberg could only dream of. You know, their laws are tougher than California's or New York's. AK-47s are banned in France, but obviously that didn't stop the Muslim terrorists from getting them illegally. They certainly didn't submit to background checks. You know, gun control gives this false sense of security, and France has turned its people into a nation of victims, into a nation of soft targets. And speaking of soft targets in our country, every public mass shooting except for two going back to the 1950s, has occurred in a gun-free zone where people were unable to protect themselves. And that just underscores the fact that the way you stop a killer or terrorist is by letting the victims defend themselves. And, you know, we've seen this recently in our country, in Darby, Pennsylvania. A doctor stopped a mass shooting at a hospital in Oklahoma. A business manager stopped a Muslim who was beheading employees. On New Year's Eve, a pastor in Florida prevented a, a mass shooting in his church. So that, that's how you stop these mass shootings and mass killings, is by letting the first responders, that is the potential victims, letting them protect themselves. That is very effective. You know, I, I got an email uh, the other day, and I printed it up. Uh, and let me just run these off real quick. Uh, when it comes to guns, we defend our president with guns. We defend our congressmen with guns, governors with guns, celebrities with guns. We defend our sporting events with guns, jewelry stores, guns, banks, guns, office building, guns, factories with guns, courts with guns. And we defend our children with a sign that reads, this is a gun-free zone. Yeah, I think that Stupid. makes the point very well, and it, and it certainly underscores the hypocrisy, because in that list that you just read, many of those people who are being defended by guns themselves, when the microphone's put in front of their face, say, oh, well, America has too many guns. We need to restrict uh, their liberties. Uh, Liam Neeson's an example of that. I mean, here's a guy who's made a living using guns on the screen to stop the bad guys. I mean, he's the epitome of mm -hmm. why you would use a gun, and that's to, you know, protect yourself from the bad guys. And yet, just in the last 24 hours, standing in front of a Taken 3 poster with that movie coming out where he's pointing a pistol, uh, you know, on this poster, he says that the shooting in France reminds us how there's too many blankety blank, uh, expletive deleted uh, guns out there, especially in America. Well, never mind, Mr. Nielsen, ne Neeson. I mean that that France mm -hmm. has much more gun control than we do, and it didn't stop the bad guys, the terrorists, from getting guns. You know, I hear the reports that uh, the police officers in France they pull up, and I think there was actually a video. Uh, they're they're coming. Their lights are flashing, and all of a sudden these guys step out with these AKA 47s, start shooting at them, and all they had was uh, what nightsticks? Was that exactly. did I hear that right? Nightsticks. Yeah. yeah, I mean there are, are obviously are special units in France that are armed, but for the most part, many of the police are not. The guards are not. Uh, they've really turned their country into. Uh, 
uh, a, a country of soft targets. I mean, you just go through the list. AK-47s are prohibited. Well, that didn't stop these terrorists from getting their hands on them. Uh, you, you can own a semi-automatic rifle. In other words, pull the trigger once, one bullet comes out the barrel. But you have to get a shooting uh, sports license. You have to shoot three times a year at a range. And you have to get a sign-off from a doctor every year who declares you physically and mentally fit. I mean, for the most part, the average French person is totally disarmed, and you can forget about trying to get a carry permit. I mean, those don't uh, e even exist. I mean, if even the police aren't, uh, for the most part, carrying themselves. So this is a, com you know, and, and they pride themselves on uh, being so safe, and yet this is the problem. It is a false sense of security, and when a determined person does get their hands on guns and wants to uh, create uh, a tragic situation. They're they're virtually you know, they've got their hands tied, uh, being able to stop them. You know, if you go uh, to uh, to the website uh, gunowners dot org, I believe that that's where I found uh, where you have a list there describing what every type of gun is. And because you were mentioning, you know, you pull the trigger one time or two times, or it's an automatic. Uh, that is on the website, right? Where it breaks down each firing weapon. Uh, we may have that on our website. Uh, I'm not uh, certainly not. It's not on the front page, but you're probably okay. digging deep into the site. So I appreciate that. <laughs> it's a lot of good information up there. Well, and people get confused, you know, between what's an automatic and a semi-automatic, and uh, and it's it, it is. The uh, the other thing well, about the and, website, you know, just to ahead. that, Chuck. I mean, uh, that yeah. that's a key point because uh, part of that confusion was intentional. Uh, very interesting that mm -hmm. the New York Times last year finally admitted to their readers that this whole whole assault weapon idea was a total fabrication by Democrats in the early 1990s. That there is no such thing. There is an assault rifle, okay, which the military uses. Uh, this has a selector switch, so it allows you to either shoot automatic. Uh, like a machine gun or semi-automatically, which is, by the way, the function uh, which most guns in America, most people who own a firearm, uh, uh, you know, and if it's a, a semi-automatic, that is the way it's going to shoot. And so that that confusion was actually intentional in order to demonize a whole swath of guns in order to ban them. And it's just very ironic that the uh, the, the New York Times actually admitted that uh, these guns never existed. It was uh, uh, just a, a mere invention that they never were the criminal's weapon of choice and uh, that the uh, so-called assault weapons ban was, had been totally ineffective, which indeed it had. We're, we're actually safer today. We have a lower murder rate today than in 2005 for when the so-called assault weapons ban expired, when it's sunset. We're actually safer today with these guns being available to the average citizen again. And I'll tell you, the average citizen wants to get a gun now. I mean, it's you look at, uh, they had the story on the FBI that came out, FBI background checks. Uh, I got it at the, uh, I guess, the end of December. Uh, background checks totaled more than 2.3 million in December according to the FBI, compared to about 2 million in the same period in 2013. Uh, and they talk about, you know, the Ferguson, Missouri, and things like that. Yes. Uh, the December tally of 2.3 was boosted in part by a strong holiday gun shopping season. And are you ready for this? And a Black Friday. Black Friday, they had 175,000 background checks just in one day. The people want to know, and the people are smart enough to get around all this. Uh, hey, I'm an actor that gets a lot of money by playing with guns, but uh, I don't believe in it. But I do believe in that uh, checkbook, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now, here's a stupid question for you. Uh, this is Larry I'm talking to, right? <laughs> Well, some some have said that the apple doesn't fall fall far from the I'm tree. Just, if Eric is it okay, I was supposed to have Eric, and I said, "Boy, Eric is sounding so much like Larry." Yes, and I said, "I've heard that switcher? ever since I was a teenager." <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you. Next time somebody complains that uh, you know, no, we want Larry. Say, okay, well, well, here he is. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it hit through me today. I'll tell you, but it could be me. I have slow days. Hey, it's GunOwners.org and Eric Pratt, Director of Communications, Gun Owners of America. We'll be right back.
Hey, do you have an old customer classic car you're afraid to drive and enjoy? Well, bring that classic up to 2014 standards with BS Industries Incorporated. BS Industries is an award-winning Los Angeles-based company that designs and builds customs and hot rods of every conceivable form. BS Industries keeps a full range of service in-house that allows limitless creativity and attention to the personal desires of the client. Bodie Stroud is best known for sleek custom builds and puts his clients behind the wheel of their dreams. BS Industries specializes in metal fabrication, electrical work, suspension, exhaust systems, paint, upholstery. BS Industries can make your custom restoration or hot rod the ride of your dreams. Learn what Tim Allen, Johnny Depp, and Jay Leno know. Bodie Stroud can take your old car and make it your drive of pride and passion. Call BS Industries today at 818 768 7602. 818 768 7602 or go to bodiestroud.com b-o-d-i-e-s-t-r-o-u-d.com have you ever considered adding a home security system but thought it would be too expensive here's the good news there's never been a more affordable time to help protect your home valuables and your loved ones you can now get a 100 visa card from protect your home your authorized adt dealer with the installation of a new adt monitored system here's even better news your new system worth 850 dollars is free you pay just a 99 dollars installation charge and purchase monthly monitoring for less than two dollars a day call protect your home today at 1-866-669-8954 that's one 1-866- eight 866-669-8954. Get the peace of mind that comes with owning an ADT monitored system plus a $100 Visa card from Protect Your Home. Call now 1-866-669-8954. That's 1-866-669-8954. 36-month monitoring contract required. General terms and conditions apply. Visit protectyourhome.com forward slash terms. As a retired teacher, I look for ways to save money for the things I love, like traveling the world. Medicare plans change each year. Fortunately, my Health Mart pharmacist helped me understand my insurance, saving me money on prescriptions. And they can help you too. My pharmacist cares about my health and the things I love, whatever that might be. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. Visit healthmart.com for the locally owned pharmacy near you. Called the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award winning host Dr. Pat Basili is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh, new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in, and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. Listen to Dr. Pat, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern on CRN. Everybody's talking at me. My guest, Eric Pratt, Director of Communications, Gun Owners of America, and it's gunowners.org. You know, I got to tell you, uh, there are so many different gun groups out there, and, and a lot of them are doing, you know, a lot of good stuff, right? And uh, I saw here where PBS uh, had this uh, special uh, week of highlighting the work of Gun Owners of America. And I said, wow, that's fantastic. And uh, as I understand, uh, actually Breitbart reported that all the other gun rights stood so shoulder to shoulder, uh, backing you guys up. And uh, hey, congratulations on that, boy! It's great when people can come together, isn't it? It really is. And you know, as Breitbart pointed out, it, it didn't initially start that way because uh, there were some groups that were trying to devise a compromise with Senator Joe Manchin, but we flipped the lights. Uh, switch on that, and we got uh, just uh, you know thousands upon thousands of people uh, not only calling the senators but also uh, even calling the NRA and saying, "Please, no, uh, don't do that. Take a stand uh, against this legislation that Obama is pushing." And uh, then right after that, about a week later, they finally uh, did come out publicly and uh, stood shoulder to shoulder with us. So yeah, that that was very exciting. That was a very uh, important, uh, you know. I, we're very grateful that the president last year was able to say the biggest um, defeat or, or disappointment, he said, of his uh, six years in office was the fact that he hasn't gotten gun control passed. And, uh, you Boy. know, we, uh, <laughs> we, we take some, uh, some thankfulness in the fact that we were uh, used in that effort to uh, deliver that disappointment. Yeah, and they're trying every way in the world, and right now one of their big uh, uh, targets – is uh, health. 
you know, oh, they're mentally off. And I'll tell you, uh, I look at uh, some of the postings you guys have on house bills that you need to pay attention to, and there's H.R. 3199. Uh, I think it was Clinton that took the guns away from people on military bases. Anyway, uh, trying to get the guns back. And uh, what was the other one? Uh, yeah, I guess it's H.R. 602, conditions under which certain persons may be uh, treated as incompetent. Uh, I think that's tying in with mental illness. Hey, here's a great bumper sticker for you. I just thought about this, Eric. Uh, how about before you hear Allah Akbar, go to gunowners.org. <laughs> I love it. Hey, Did we'll you see that, that on around a... here? That's great. Yeah, I was just thinking about that because you know they they holler that and uh, and here you know the police they don't have AK forty sevens and you even mentioned in your report you know uh, uh, the laws in France more stricter than California's. Whenever you're uh, <laughs> getting worser, I love that word because it upsets them at the network when I say worser. <laughs> anyway. When you're getting worse than California, uh, you know you're in a heap of trouble. <laughs> That's right, and and obviously completely ineffective in France. And you just look at some of the recent national shootings in Sydney, Australia, uh, at the Canadian Parliament uh, before that. Uh, one thing they all had in common was uh, that they were uh, Muslim perpetrators, uh, Muslim terrorists. But the second thing they had in common was that they were all able to get their hands on guns despite the very draconian gun laws uh, of the country where they live. So we see time and time again that gun control does not protect right. people. And what uh, you just said is perhaps one of the most uh, well-known quotes about gun control, and that is, when they outlaw guns, only outlaws will have guns. And it's showing perfect proof of time what's and happening time again. all around the world. Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, enjoyed our visit and look forward to the next one, sir. As do I. Thanks so much. Thank you. And the website, gunowners.org. Eric Pratt, Director of Communications for Gun Owners of America.